if they catch you with somebody's husband you're gonna see something hi guys how are you doing today and welcome back to my channel okay guys if this is your first time stopping by or seeing any of my videos guys click that subscribe button because this is a platform to learn and everything just today i'll be sharing 10 things you should not do as a makeup artist guys don't do this okay number one is whenever you have um an home service or you're going to a client's place or a location to do the makeup do not dress as if you are going to the market like don't dress like as if you are casually going to buy something outside your house why did i even say that is because when you get there it is your packaging your the way you dress the way you package that's the way people see you you get what i'm saying even if you are not dressed like um, extravagantly probably you're not wearing your shoe or whatever just make sure you are neat you know and the way you speak just make sure you are comfortable it's not as if when you are walking that's when your hair will be flying up and down like this to be flying like this to be flying like this pack your hair if you are on probably wig it's better for you to pack your hair to one side don't wear flappy clothes guys do not wear flappy clothes you know that you know when the fan is blowing and the and the and the wind is blowing everywhere or probably or worse your skirt or your gown is flying everywhere don't do that the second one is um whenever you have an appointment with a client and the client comes like 30 minutes or one hour or even two hours late do you know what you should do when she just get there you just explain to her that madam your time is over or your session is over she I probably you know some people you have to like pay a certain amount for overtime fee you get but just make sure that don't shout don't shout like don't say um since morning you've not been here for like two hours your time is over don't do that it's because it doesn't speak well for your brand you get if you just like that your services from one oh oh you to reach zero zero one one do you get what i'm saying so you could just tell them politely madam um your section is over you could pay an overtime fee of so 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 or try to like if 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 it's if that person is like a lawyer client or something just try to like guilty three power to harden some money you get violence is not good at all to your clients this is the third one guys i know many of you makeup artists will relate to it you see that point where you are where you've applied your certain powder or when you are applying your certain powder and a relative of the bride or or let's say the bride or okay let's use the bride now maybe like the bride's mother enters and i'm like maybe a yoruba bride a yoruba mother kilelehi what's this uh -uh. we don't want it to be much oh don't make it much oh. why is there white here why it's here clean it a bag and i'll be like ma i'm not done i'm just setting the face i'm baking our face i'm like hey <laughs> guys that period she's saying she's shouting that or maybe the bride maybe there are some brides that don't really know much about makeup and probably the bride the bride is complaining that what's this like why is there a white stuff on her face it's just don't shout without please do not shout at your client i'm telling you let's not be as safe okay it's dj that said no like you don't need to just explain to them get and if they keep shouting just tell them that they should allow you to do your work if they don't trust you they won't give you um this business to do. they won't they won't uh, they won't need your services they should just allow you to do your work and you too do their work very well this next one is something everybody faces a makeup artist a client okay just um a client comes to you and tell you that okay i want this makeup probably a nude makeup or maybe a blue shadow or probably a particular color of makeup that you should do for them after you're done they'll, they'll be like they don't like this on their face that you should clean it 
you say but ma you requested for this now why should i clean it i thought it'd be fine on my face guys don't shout do not shout oh, sir. <laughs> don't shout oh. like i do say this you do something for another day not because of the present because a lot of clients like they refer you some people refer you if you have if you have your services or the way you your relationship with your clients determines the position of you a makeup artist in the heart of your client some, some of my clients did you call me a teacher i've 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 given your number to someone they'll message you like thank you ma thank you ma coming to that what i was saying like you don't need to shout you get just once a client requests for something do it first then you show them okay this is okay this is how it is they tell you to clean it back clean it but before you do another one recommend a good one for them but you have to tell them that are you sure because you won't be clearing it again because it's already taking time a section for like a session for like two hours um, of one hour you take like two hours long like it's wasting of time do not tell your clients that our artist is not fine don't try it even if it has the worst combination of probably um i'll even say like mismatched colors or something guys don't tell your clients that the outfit is not fine please or probably <laughs> I've said my whole door, don't tell them, but you can't kindly recommend that. Okay, why don't you okay match this with this? Why don't you use this on this? Or probably maybe a client, maybe a bride, she's with her friends, and her friends are saying, or oh, maybe she's with one of my friends, and her friend that is telling her that where this and you know in your own mind that this thing is the worst combination, it does not go well with each other. Hmm don't i'm saying my whole no guys just say okay do your job and leave another one this one is very very important it's very very important like the way i'm stressing this is very very important if you're in the midst of a client and her friends or some people and they are discussing about something please don't comment or add your own and join don't add your own and join like seriously nothing concerns you unless probably actually or they are looking at you or probably you know now there are some conversation that they want to carry along or something even if you must do it don't like divert from their own agreement do not do that if you know okay probably you don't, um, you, you 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 don't agree what they are saying just lock up or if you must talk just like fat i understand it happens ah this life that kind of thing this one i'm about to say is very very important to your life as a makeup artist don't abuse your clients don't tell them they are stupid or are they silly or they are nasty even if they are just try to endure don't tell them like don't fight with them because if matter come outside now and we are like cast cast a boss nobody People will likely support the client because you know she's yeah the one rendering your services and she's paying for it. It's a customer is always right. There are some clients that they are so so nasty. You understand? You don't need to like argue with your clients or probably shout at them. I didn't matter. I did. Let me not just sorry for using this words, but it is true. This photographer called me because it gives me clients. I do makeup most times for his clients in the studio and stuff and he usual now okay somebody wants to do makeup and the lady called me and we agreed for this price she was trying to like um put the money down i was like no ma i can't do it and i was even thinking i was even in a party and the distance you know something that they didn't tell me before oh because of you know money money you know now i just like left there and when i got there do you know what she did so she was asking me how much is it and i was like i told you we've talked about this why are you asking me she was like eh. she talked to somebody she didn't know that is me oh she's not sure that is me i looked at the guys the photographer's eyes he just locked up he didn't want to say i was like madam 
this is your number. I even called the number. And just guy, she did not know. Hey, maybe she she forgotten that it's me. Maybe it's another person. Why would you conclude about something and I come and you start saying this thing? Say no, she cannot pay that amount. Oh. She pay lesser. That day I could not even cry because I already left the party. The party was still going on. And I was like, ma. It was not a small thing. Oh. She was saying, eh. This is, I said, ma, I don't do like that. I don't do like that. You have to pay me exactly what we discussed about. If not, I will leave. In fact, that I will leave eh, in my mind. Ah, I've wasted money for transport and everything. I was so pained before the photographer guy talked to me and all that. But see. I've experienced a lot of things in my two years as a makeup artist. Some people can be so annoying. Eh? Hey, okay. This next one is something that I've been hearing, but I've not experienced it before. You know, I don't know. Me, I don't do it too. <laughs> okay, I do hear that there are some makeup artists. Um, I'm not shading um, people that does this so, but. You go to a client's house, you know, and corner cornering, like in the back in camera. Probably the husband of the woman will ask for your number or probably will contact you for what you don't need that. Like I don't know that why would you even consent to a relationship between this husband, your client? That's lack of credibility. In fact, that's there should be a rule for makeup party that you should not do. Why would you even give your number out to your client's spouse or probably a boyfriend? Does it make sense? Like I've been hearing some clients, um, some makeup parties does this and all that stuff. Whew. Like I won't be saying much into it, but it doesn't make sense. It does not make sense. This is one of the major things you should not do at all as a makeup artist i keep saying this if they catch you with somebody's husband you're gonna see something this next one too is very very important as a makeup artist that follows another makeup artist on her own job after the work don't try to collect the the other makeup artist that helps you to get the job client's number don't do that it is very very wrong why would why would somebody call you for a job it's about betraying. It's just about betraying the person. How will somebody call you for your job? Eh? And you now collect that person's um, customer. Okay, that's bad though. I'm, I'm just saying it. I'm not shedding anybody. But it is bad. I'm, I'm very sure that most um, makeup artists will experience this. Like, I don't know what you are. I don't, I don't even know. I don't know what you're seeing. That everybody has their own clients. If the other makeup artist will be work, hmm. If not, it's a be work past the person. Who cares? But there are just some things that you should not do. Part of human nature. Some people, they will not understand. They have coconut head. Okay, I've said my horn. The last but not the least is that do not breathe on your client's face. Please. Please. Okay, do you know, um... Um, let's forget about the cases of bad breath. There are some people that have naturally bad breath, and you know. Aside from that, do you know? Okay, when you sleep or, or um, and wake, when we when you take a nap or when you, you you don't talk to some to somebody for a few minutes or hours, when you open your mouth again, eh, uh, your mouth will lose. Yeah, yeah, your mouth will smell. Do you get? Do you know when you when you don't talk to someone for a few minutes or a few hours or you take a nap and you talk, your mouth is going to smell. Even let's even leave that one aside safe. On a normal day, even if you don't have a bad breath, but when you come close to somebody's face, it's not very that likes when you're breathing. Like that thing is disgusting. Please don't breathe on your client's face. If she's talking to you and you are near her, just don't say anything. Just try to if you want to answer her. Just leave her face, then you can answer her. Or probably if you are doing a mascara or probably are doing a brows that requires you to come close to her face, don't breathe. 
try to hold your breath a little bit and come back seriously that's what i do and i actually learned this for my boss then much minaj you don't breathe on your client's face please if you if you are doing it like don't do that anymore even there are some clients that they will not tell you you get but there are some clients they will tell you ah um, don't breathe shifts back there are some clients that you need to wash your hands before you touch their face and that is so so nice is because that's what you should do or you clean your hands with your wipes if there's no water nearby like hygiene is so so important <laughs> even um for your yeah, body odor like please um, i don't even know how i'm going to start saying this you need to smell nice even if you're not even smelling nice like even if you didn't even put the around because i won't lie it's not every time i remember to put the around to my skin or something or my body or something but you know when you use a good soap to wash your clothes you know this this this, this, this soap that's how it's going to be okay guys that's it this is the end of the discussion thanks for viewing like i'm so happy that i've got to i, I got to record this because um, i've had some questions or some comments that please can you do this and don't as a makeup artist what you should avoid and what you should you should do as a makeup artist so guys thanks for viewing if you've not subscribed my channel please click that subscribe button it is very important to my career thanks guys for viewing this is the jazz vlog bye